Hey guys, welcome to this video in which I will be showing you how to build your very own vertical jump tester. The items that we need are fairly cheap, so in total it will be around 20 euros or 22 dollars max. So we need three plastic drain pipes, which are all at least one meter, one metal rod, which is at least one and a half meters long, two connectors for the pipes, a three meters long strap, two wing nuts, one packet of fresh nuts, one packet of spacers, and finally one or two folding rules as well as a tension belt to attach everything to the pole. First we are going to start off shortening two drain pipes at around 55 centimeters. Proceed drilling two holes at the end of the two pipes and make sure they are in a straight line. Put on the connectors on the long pipe and stick in the smaller cut pipes. Now we go over to the rod cut it so that it is slightly longer than the long drain pipe. Dude, it just turned hot, it's crazy. Before we continue with the rod, we need to take the folding rules apart and drill a hole in each piece. Screw on the first nut on the rod. They have to be locked nuts, meaning they have to have small rubber ring which makes them more stable on the rod. Tighten the first piece and add the first spacer. I've chosen mine to be one centimeter long, but it's up to you how large you want the steps between each piece to be. Keep in mind that you have to take the nuts as well as the pieces themselves into account when calculating the space between each gap. At the end it should look something like this. Use the wing nuts to secure the rod within the pipe. The final step is to attach the three meter strap at the height of the first wooden piece so you know the exact vertical that you've jumped. This is what my final result looks like. I've even added markings on each piece so that I can easily determine how high I've jumped. For that I just add the centimeters that I hit on top of the original height that I fastened the whole thing at. For example, in my case, I fastened it at 2 meters 80. Now, watch and learn! <laughs> Turns out the strap was longer than 3 meters total. So we had to shorten it after the video, but it does work. 